And what we're gonna do in this particular uh, video is convert five, six percent into a decimal. And feel free to use a calculator to help you do this. Uh, the point here is not to see if you can uh, just do long division. Of course, you need to know how to do that, but use a calculator to figure this out. So we got five, six percent, and we wanna write this or convert this into a decimal. So if you know how to figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna fully explain exactly how to do this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, uh, don't torture yourself without using a calculator. Of course, if you don't wanna put your calculator away, uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I mean, this isn't overly difficult to do without a calculator, but use a calculator. What I'm more, most interested in is do you understand um, how to convert uh, percent to a decimal and fractions to a decimal. And that's what's going to be required to do this problem. But let's go to take a look at the answer. So five, six percent as a decimal is the following. Okay, so 0 0.0083 repeating. And if you don't know what this means right here, I'll fully explain this, but this is the answer. All right, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got that right. If that is the case, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you definitely understand how to convert a fraction to a decimal and a percent to a decimal. Okay, so these are basic math skills. Everybody needs to know this, and this is not that difficult, especially if you have a calculator. But anyways, if you got this wrong, don't uh, get discouraged. I'm gonna clear up any confusion uh, right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So the first thing we wanna do here is, well, there's a couple different uh, paths you can take, uh, but basically you're gonna obviously end up in the same destination. So the path I'm gonna recommend is the following. So here we have five, six, we have a fraction, right? So we have a fraction percent. So now what, what I'm gonna do, okay, what I'm gonna suggest you do as well, is let's change this fraction into a decimal. Okay, so we'll change out this fraction and get a decimal equivalent. Now that doesn't mean that our percent goes away. We're just going to switch out this fraction right here uh, for a decimal, okay? Again, we still, we'll still have a percent, but this is gonna be our first step. All right, so how do you change a fraction into a decimal? Pretty straightforward, all we need to do is actually divide the numerator by the denominator. Here, this is five six, but this really is, means five divided by six. So all we need to do is to go into our calculator and go five divided by six, hit the enter key, and what are you gonna get? You're gonna get 0.83333, and all these threes, this goes on to infinity. So this three is what we call repeating, okay? So when you have a repeating digit in a decimal, instead of writing a whole bunch of threes forever, because you know, you don't have that time and neither do I, we just put a little bar over that three, okay? Right there, that's what that means. Hopefully uh, most of you out there have seen that, but this notation just means that this three goes on and on forever. So it's 0.83 repeating. Now uh, you gotta be very precise here. Okay, I don't, I don't wanna mess up myself. You don't wanna put it over the whole eight three. You only put it over the digit that is repeating, which in this case, it's the three. Okay, so that was step one. First step again was uh, changing this fraction into a decimal. So now our equivalent problem is the following, okay? So instead of that five, six percent, now we have 0.83 repeating percent. Okay, so that is now our new problem, right? So just because we did this, doesn't mean we can just drop our percent. We have kind of have to control the process here, right? So now the next step is we need to discuss how to convert percent into a decimal. So how do we go from a percent, which in fact we have here, into a decimal? Well, this is actually very easy um, in and of itself. And the way we do this 
is to go from a percent to a decimal is simply divide that percentage by 100. And that's effectively uh, doing the same thing or the, what um, that is equivalent to is moving the decimal point over two places to the left. Now, a lot of students go, oh yeah, we change the percent to a decimal by moving the decimal point over two places to the left. That's the result of dividing by 100. But it's important that you understand that what's technically going on here is that you are dividing the percent by 100. And of course that yields this uh, decimal point moving over two places to the left. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have 0.83%. So all I need to do is divide that by 100. And when I divide 0.83, um, repeating, uh, divide that by 100 in your calculator. And you could just uh, put 0.833, put, put a bunch of threes after that eight if you want to kind of see how this works. Divide by 100 and you're going to get 0 0.0083. And then of course that three uh, will be repeating. And this is the answer, 0 0.0083 repeating. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, at this uh, um, solution this way. So here is 0.83% uh, uh, and that three of course is repeating. So here is where the decimal point's at. So I'm like, okay, I just moved the decimal point over two places to the left, one, two. So it's over here. So you're like, well, what goes right here? It's like empty space. No, you put in zeros. So now our answer is 0 0.0083 repeating and there you go. All right, so two different ways to understand how to go from uh, percent to a decimal, but this is important stuff. I mean, in terms of practical mathematic, there's mathematics, there's nothing more important than understanding the percent symbol. Just think about what's going on uh, you know, when you leave your house or even when you go on your phone, when you look at anything. I mean, we just can't you know, avoid uh, seeing this symbol, right? So, hey, something's on sale. It's on sale this percent. You're going to save this percent or inflation's out of control this percent. Credit cards are this percent. Mortgages are increasing this percent. Now, of course, this has a lot to do with money, but, you know, money's a pretty big topic, but this is everywhere, right? So you definitely want to understand as much as possible about percent. Now, if you need help with any of this stuff, I'm talking about percent, uh, fractions, decimals, basic mathematics. I'm going to strongly suggest you check out uh, my uh, basic math review course. It's called my math foundations course. You can find it in the middle and high school math section of my uh, math help program, tcmathacademy.com. But it's a quick little crash course that will really help you review all those basic math skills that, you know, we all long forgotten. I mean, I was learning this stuff way back in the good old 1970s. That was awesome way back in those days. It was a lot of fun when there was, um, you know, no cell phones and internet, if you can believe that, all right? Because then we were forced to run around outside. Anyways, that's a whole different topic in and of itself. But a lot of us have been away from math, you know, for many, many, many years. What you need to do is just kind of, you know, do a little bit of a review especially if you have any intentions on, you know, going on to more like uh, more advanced math like algebra. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.